Morning thoughts, morning thoughts, morning thoughts. The morning thoughts are late, but the morning thoughts same way. One of the hardest things for one of the hardest things to do is to tell black people the truth. Yo, I did a video yesterday, right? And I want y'all to go view the comment section. I've erased some comments that were very disrespectful. The video was about the Black Panther new movie, right? Mind you, I understand that the movie is hyped up and it's a big Marvel film and all this other stuff, right? But what I said in that commentary in no way disrespected the movie, in no way degraded the movie, in no way did I ever say the movie won't do well. What I said was the movie is not going to be as big as movies like Superman or Batman or these other types of movies. Reason being, you're looking at a black superhero, right? Versus white superheroes that stand for America, blah, blah, blah. Now check it. With that being said, I went a little deeper trying to educate some people. Check this out. When I'm not a big Marvel fan, I'm not a big comic guy, right? When I first heard somebody say, you gonna see the new movie, the Black Panther movie? I was like, they're like, it's gonna be huge. And the first thing I thought about was, they're making a Black Panther movie? You talking about Afro's fist in the air, Huey P. Newton, that Black Panther movie and it's gonna be huge in America? Um, no, I haven't heard about it, but I'm gonna go do some research. When I went and did my little research, it didn't take much. It was all over the place. Oh, Black Panther superhero. Okay, it's something different. So, in my video about the Black Panther movie not going to be as big, what I drew was an analogy between Black Panther and Black Panthers, right? When I heard it, that's the first thing I thought. And I'm telling you that in the United States of America, if I should step into a room right now, especially anywhere in these southern states that I'm at, and I say Black Panther, the first thing they're gonna say, the white people in there are gonna think automatically, they're not going to think it's a movie, a superhero, Marvel comic movie. They're going to think, oh, that organization, Black Panthers. That's what I was saying in, in the movie. That's what I was saying about the movie. Black people seem to cannot take the truth you rather crucify me and try to kill me with your negativity. Oh boy, bye. Girls, oh boy, bye. Black people always tearing their own stuff down. How am I tearing that down by telling you the truth and enlightening you to certain things? When I hear Superman, when I hear Batman, when I hear the Avengers, when I hear any one of those names, nothing about them says black. Nothing about them says Black Panther, which sounds just like Black Panthers. How dumb, how, how could you not see that? That was a simple, we can't even have a simple discussion. Oh, you trying to tear it down. How about this? How about this? The only black person that owns some shit, as far as movies go, and authority in creativity goes, how we're portrayed on the big screen is a black man that dresses in a dress all the damn time. And half of his role, he's a woman. He plays Medea, he plays um, wh whatever else. And we're talking, you know who I'm talking about, right? Tyler Perry, right? How many more Tyler Perrys do we have? They don't have to all dress in dresses. My question is, how many movie theaters do we own? Not movie theaters, how many movie production studios do we own? We have a lot of black stars that are multi-millionaire from acting in Hollywood, which is the white man's world, because we don't have a say how we are portrayed on the silver screen. That's all I was trying to say to you guys, right? So get your little panties out of a bunch and fix your attitude and learn to have some conversation and learn to talk to people who hold different views from what you hold. You might be enlightened because we can all learn from each other. I've always said this on my channel. I don't call anybody stupid. I only erase comments from people that use profanity. Those I erase. 
if you you don't ever have to agree with me and we can be the best of friends just the same on SoFlo TV. And I still thank you for tuning in. And I'll even thumbs up your comment sometimes, even if I don't agree with it. And I'll still even go out of my way and try to make everyone that took the time to actually leave a comment feel welcome to the channel. Hey man, I don't, I don't agree with what you're saying, but thank you for tuning in anyways. You know what I mean? And this is why I don't agree. And keep the conversation going. We It's like we can't even talk to each other before it goes all the way from either you agree with me or we're enemies. Like, where's the middle ground to disagree but still be respectful? Huh? The word, when I say Black Panther, I think of the social movement, the Black Panther movement, the Huey P. Newton movement, I think of leather jackets, I think of guns, I think of afros, I think of a fist in the air, I think of them saying panther pride, panther power. Someone said, instead of in, instead of talking about all the negative things that the Black Panthers did, why don't you talk about the positive things? That was not what, I wasn't talking about anything negative. By me saying what I'm reminded of when I hear Black Panther, it's not negative they did wear leather jackets black leather jackets they and trench coats and they did carry weapons they were armed and ready to protect their community right they did wear afros they did pump a fist in the air their symbol is a friggin cat a black panther that looks like the superhero black panther so me trying to say to you that this is the first thing that's gonna be stuck in a lot of white people's mind. I'm not saying every white person, because I know how a lot of you are. Then here's this one person on the channel saying shit like, I'm surprised at the length you went through to make this a black and white issue. Weren't you just swirling across the pond the other day? Like you're ignorant as hell. And I answered that person on the comment section, but I'm gonna say it here on this video as well. Listen, that's our problem, right? There was this uh, therapist out here that, a travel therapist like myself, his vehicle broke down and he started walking. Now he moved to Texas from another state, somewhere up north where they're very liberal, I guess. So he moved to Texas with his white wife. A lot of people didn't like it. His car broke down, he decided to walk to somewhere. I guess someone gave him a ride and he was found, he went missing and when they finally found him days later, he was found in the woods with his private part in his mouth, cut off, all this other kind of stuff. I say that to say this, when you're swirling across the pond, that's the problem. A lot of my people think they have arrived because they're getting some white booty. Because you're sleeping with a white woman, you're no longer a black man. Or because you're sleeping with a white man, you're no longer a black woman. And things that affect African people or black people in society are not going to in, uh, affect you anymore. That could be furthest from the truth, okay? There's a white woman right now that has a video up on YouTube where she talks about being in Jamaica and she talks about how much she loves Jamaica and she talks about how she gets all the special privileges because she is white. But as soon as she brings her black friend man around, the same people who gave her all the privileges revoke those privileges and let her know, hey, you can't swim here, it's only for the tourists. You can't do that there, you can't do this here, you have to be a member of this and a member of that. And she's speaking out about it. I don't know why my people always feel like they need to put on a superhero cape and feel like they have to defend white people. The this is not a black and white issue. This is me simply telling you that the words Black Panther evokes a different chain of thought in a lot of people. So I'm very surprised that there's a movie coming out. And of course I said a lot of black people are gonna go see it. And I hope they do. And I hope it breaks box office records. And I don't care if it's breaking pre-sale ticket records. How big is it going to be eventually? Are they gonna be able to make a franchise out of it? Are they gonna be, that's what I'm talking about. And back to the thing again, where we don't own nothing. 
all these powerful black people that you have and they can't pull their resources together and own some part of Hollywood or our own film industry that controls how we are viewed on television and through social media or media, period, mass media, then what? If you wanna see the epitome of a black woman, you gotta watch shows like Inc or Bad Girls Club or um, what's the other one called? Housewives of Atlanta or and she's always mad always have multiple sex partners always or don't care on to the next one willy-nilly throwing her vagina everywhere her clothes are tight she only cares about all the white brands that cost a lot and all these other things that's how we're portrayed that is not who we are though because I know a lot of sisters that are far from that right productive progressive highly educated and conscious why can't we be portrayed like that but anyways i'm gonna leave it right there because i understand sometimes that some of my conversations are too deep for some people and i don't want to continue to keep on dumbing myself down but it feels like that's what i have to do sometimes i didn't create this platform for me to have to dumb myself down i created this platform for people who are able to uh engage even if they disagree you dig? All right, so Flow TV, man, like, comment, share, subscribe. Leave your comment in the comment section below. Let me hear what you got to say about this one. I'm out. And stop choosing lies over truth, even when the lies are, even when the lies are sweet and the truth is painful or hard to accept, always be willing and ready to hear and accept truth. I'm out. Peace.